like Philly. I think it was strawberry and jelly. Oh, strawberry? Yeah. Oh man. I, I think that the jelly was just a little bit. Alright guys, you know what time it is. It is the month of March and we are doing another bracket challenge. For this video, we brought our donut connoisseur slash cameraman slash really really good friend, Ash. So we have our four contenders today. We're gonna bracket them out, place them one through four. We're gonna blindfold them and we're gonna see which donut hails supreme. Blindfolds on. Here we go. The first round we're doing is gonna be glazed donuts only. Keeping it classic, keeping it vanilla. We'll see who does the glazed donut best. We're gonna start off with the number one seed. Where's the number four seed? We're gonna start off with the number four seed. Two. You're the one that's ripping it, so. Oh. Feels soft. This is the number four seed? Yeah, that's a good donut. Wow. It's not too sweet, actually. This is a really good donut for a number four seed. Ash, what do you think about it, man? I mean, it's not as sweet as I think it should be. I think I might need some condensed milk. Oh, what the heck? It was good. I think it's really soft, like really, really soft. The perfect amount, and then the, the glaze is like Ash was saying, it, was too, it wasn't too sweet. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna move on to the number one seed. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Hold on. This is a dense guy. Ooh, this is the there one seed. Mm. This is interesting. It doesn't taste like a glazed donut at all. What the? <laughs> Why? What does it taste like to you? It has a little fruitiness in it. What do you think about the texture though? It's a little tough. More tough than I thought it would be for number one seed. I think that this one is very soft. However, what? not as soft as the last one. The glaze is pretty good. It's a little thicker than I think the first one. The first one is more uh, like cracked more, like crumbly. This one is more like sticky. You know what? I think this one is just not as good as the number four seed to be honest. I feel like there's an upset alert. So I guess that they decided and we're going for the upset. Number four seed takes out the number one seed. Next up, we have our number two seed versus our number three seed. Let's get it. Go with our number three seed. How's it feel? Felt better than number one. Yeah, already from breaking it felt softer. Oh, full. That's a good donut. What are you thinking, Ash? I don't like it. What? <laughs> this is a glazed donut? <laughs> There's definitely glaze on it. I taste lemon. The like texture it. is great. Even though I can't see, I know all the, the glazed sugar stuff is like glass. What do you mean glass? It shatters? It's like shattery, I know what you mean. I think the donut was as soft as number four. Maybe actually just a little less soft. I think still four is the softest. This glaze is a little bit, again, more on the stickier side, not as like thin. It just tastes like lemon to me. <laughs> oh no. All right, moving on. Our number two seed. Oh, I already know this one. I think I know this one. I already know. I know this one. <laughs> oh, for sure. I know. <laughs> What's the consensus on? This is definitely the glazed donut that I know and love. Perfect like amount of sweetness. But how's the fluffiness? No, this one, this one is perfect. Not too soft, not too firm. This one is like up there with number four in terms of texture, but I feel like number four is just even softer. It is a great glaze, like me and Ash were saying, it's like crispy, you know? Not crispy, I don't know how to describe it, but like when you touch it and bite it, it just kind of like breaks, like, like a really thin glass layer. So I think it's settled. What'd you guys pick? Two seed or three seed? Two. Close matchup, but the heavy hitter brought it out. And so the two seed moves on to the final round. Now we're moving on to the final round. We have the number four seed versus the number two seed. So for the final round, we are doing a variety of flavors. Some vary a little bit, but it's gonna be some of the classics. We have an old fashioned donut, we have a Boston cream, we have a jelly filled, and then we have a chocolate cake donut. So this is gonna be the deciding factor for the final round. Five donuts, starting off with our number four seed. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, I'm gonna get four. Who's this? It is old fashioned. Okay, here we go. I know this one is. Chocolate glaze. They're a little bit on the thicker side compared to the glazed donut, right Ash? The chocolate one is probably the next best thing. I'm pretty sure it's the jelly one. Was there jelly in this one? I don't think there's any jelly in there. <laughs> no, we got another bite. I like this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Nice box and cream. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, here you go. You, you take a bite. I don't know if I like that jelly. You like it? I do like that strawberry. So can I get an overall <laughs> overview on seed number four? I like the chocolate one. The flavors were not matching what they were describing. When he said strawberry, that didn't make sense to me. Boston one did not taste good to me either. The old fashioned, I thought it was supposed to taste like a churro. PJ? There was parts of it that I really didn't like in terms of like the cream tasted a little bit just too sweet. It was overwhelming. The jelly tasted very artificial and a little too tart for me. The chocolate glaze was probably the most well-rounded, but still I think it was just a little bit too sweet overall. For Texture wise, they're all pretty soft. All right, now we're gonna move on to the number two seed. Here we go. Oh, bro, these are, I'm already gonna make the sound with these. Oh, wow, this one. Yeah. Oh, that rip. 
just the old fashioned again. This is chocolate cake. Holy cannoli, that's a good chocolate flavor. Texture's great. That was definitely good. I should have to bite this one. This it? Yeah. I bit pretty deep in there. <laughs> that's good. What do you think that is after? The chocolate? That's all I got. <laughs> Here, take a bite of this. There, take that bite. Is that not just chocolate? No. <laughs> that's Boston cream. That's Boston cream? Yeah. That tastes way better than the other one. Here you go, Ash. Was your finger in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Old fashioned glaze. I feel like it's sweeter than the regular glazed donut. The texture is also a little too <laughs> firm for me for a donut. Oh man, I cannot eat that whole donut. That was overly sweet. One more donut. How are you doing this? Last donut. Ooh, got him. You hear that? Is it raspberry? Yeah, this it is. I don't like it because I've been fooled too many times about someone telling me it's a strawberry flavored and it's always raspberry. I just don't like raspberry. The icing itself is great. I'm not a big fan of raspberry, but I enjoyed that one. All right, so we're gonna have them talk over. It's looking like a full blowout. We'll give them a chance to talk about it and see what they liked best. And they will come back to you with their final decision to see who the champ is. All right, guys, so we are back. And I think they've made a decision on who the donut champion is. So on the count of three, I'm gonna have you guys put up a finger and show me who you think the winner is, either number two or number four seeds. And the winner is... Due to technical difficulties, our camera stopped recording right at the end of this video. But we're gonna give you the results anyways. In the first round, Yum Yum had a really strong performance with their glazed donut. It was extremely soft and it wasn't too sweet. Krispy Kreme's infamous glazed donut was a shoe in into the championship round as it's extremely well-rounded and a crowd pleaser. In the championship round, Yum Yum put up a good fight. However, its artificial flavors and overly sweet donuts caused it to fall, giving Krispy Kreme the championship and the crown as best donuts. So we just want to thank you guys again for watching another March Madness video. Stick around for the rest of the tournament to see what brackets we put up next. If you like this video or if it's your first time watching, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time on Hype Foods. Oh, 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 oh,